Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this little video we're going to take a quick look at a sleeveless tri-suit from Santic and we're looking in particular at the Santic Ninja men's tri-suit. Before I get into a number of the minor details about this suit let me just highlight from the outset what it is that I've been impressed with because of course with a tri-suit you are never going to satisfy everybody's needs be it between swim, bike, run, be it the distance that you're doing, your body shape, or what you want, what you personally want the suit to do and carry maybe. But what has rung true for me with this suit has simply been its comfort. And I've had this suit for a little while now and it always takes me a bit of time to test out a tri suit because you've got to force yourself to wear it in the pool, you've got to force yourself to wear it on the bike and do some distance and that's hard. When you've got some nice bib shorts, what are you going to do? Bib shorts, tri suit. So it's taken a bit of time and I have pushed some miles out on this and then of course running and you've got to get through the mental bit of running in public with a tri suit on, uh, whatever. But I've now done all three and I've done a, a number of brick sessions. So I've gone from swim to cycle to see how it dries out, particularly the pad and is there any chafing and from cycle to run, similar sort of thing, chafing, coming off the, with the pad into the run, how do the leg grippers work, what's it like, you know, thorny little issues like nipple rub. <sighs> what's really thrown through for me is that this has been a really, really comfortable tri suit. So what about the material? Well, the first thing is before we go into individual panels, all around this is a really elasticated suit. So to me that's got, essentially it's got three little benefits. One, in terms of sizing, it enables you to be, you don't have to have a perfectly cut and fit tri suit. You can get as close as you can and then it will stretch for you. Now I'm not suggesting that you don't bother about getting the right size, uh, that's not the point. The point is that some suits aren't very elastic and even if you get the closest size to what fits you, it just doesn't feel right. So the size of the fitting with the elasticity is great. It also means that as you change your position from activity to activity, it, the suit is going to give to suit that position when you're swimming and moving through and your upper body and getting and getting your position in the swim that's different to being in the aero position on the bike and that of course is putting a greater stretch across the back of the shoulders so it's going to adapt to that as well and then number three is it does give you that little bit of compression for your muscles to aid the blood flow the venous return and to keep your muscles working in I can't say the optimum manner because clearly I've not done serious physiological testing, but there is a compression element to this tri suit that does appear to work. Looking now at a few specifics, well, the zip. It's a high quality YKK zip which undoes and does up really nicely and freely, even after numerous immersions in water and usages. So, great start there. What I would point out is it's a rear zip. Now in my mind and there are a number of tri suits that are sleeveless tri suits that have a rear zip, in my mind that puts this suit into the Olympic distance and shorter category rather than the half iron or Ironman category. The main reason for this is the ease of undoing the front maybe to get a bit of air in. As a suit it doesn't have gel pockets or whatever you want to put in those pockets for your movement so you're going to be limited to what's on your race belt or what you pick up in transition and on the plus side by having the zip on the back you're reducing any frontal sort of resistance particularly in the swim and discomfort in that area. So it's a rear zip that has many advantages 
at the shorter distance. And if I were to categorise this suit straight away, I'd almost call it a speed suit. Now, it's not a speed suit as in a cycling speed suit, but it is a quick triathlon suit for the shorter distance. Like many of Santix products, it's made with a, a series of panels and the materials in the panels are different depending on the job that they're doing. So on the back, in the black here, we have, there we go, we have the sort of rear collar area and that's a, a meshed fabric and it's really, really breathable and gives, I've got to say, very effective heat dissipation. The, the back panels in green here and also the side panels, well, they're Italian fabrics, they're still pretty elastic and they work on sweat dissipation and breathability. So good use of different panels there. Similarly, when we move down to the thigh openings, well, we've got further Italian imported fabrics with a really nice, pretty comfortable gripper on there. I've got pretty hairy legs, um, sorry about that, but I haven't had a problem with these sort of sticking and pulling, yet they do grip and hold the position. And don't forget, they've obviously got to do the swim, bike, run and work or work through all of those. In terms of the suit itself, the last thing, and in many respects, the most important thing to, to bring out is the chamois. And not easy to see because the chamois inside this is black, it's not a contrasting color. It, it's pretty thin. It's not going to give you the most comfortable 100 mile ride. So again, we're not looking at Iron Man, 112 miles. But where I've been impressed with this chamois is that for the sprint and Olympic distance, it, it does the job perfectly. You swim and it doesn't retain, there's no nappy feel of retaining, more, retaining liquid and, and feeling any sense of weight behind you. You get out of the water of the swim. Again, there's no sense, you don't notice the chamois is there. So a good thing in the swim. You get onto the bike, and it dries out really quickly and it does offer it does offer the comfort to enable you to certainly do a 40k ride with no problem whatsoever I, I i don't notice any difference between this chamois and any other chamois on tri suits that i use on the bike in that sort of up to 40k and whilst i've not done an olympic distance try in this what i have deliberately done is I've done a pool swim and then gone and done a 40k ride. Well, it was just over 40k and I was really impressed with it. I was also impressed with getting off the bike and running. And there is no sense of, there's nothing, you just don't feel it. There's no, there's no sense of something restricting your run in any way. And I guess what I'm saying is that, that probably as a chamois, it, it's thin but it's not too thin and the material is such that it does give you the padding when you need it and it does the job. Whilst we're on the chamois, I ought to say that it's a, it's a 3D cut, uh, what they call plus sand absorb function fabric. Now, this is a high quality, anti-sweat, antibacterial, breathable and quick drying fabric and everything I've seen suggests that to be true. Really important when you're ordering a tri suit, fit. For those that haven't seen many of my videos, I'm five foot 10, I have a pretty long torso and a short inside leg, and my tri suit size is XL. This is an XL and it fits perfectly for me. On Santic's website, it, it says they come up slightly small, and what I would say is that if you are between sizes, go up a size. If you're at the top end of a size, stay with that size because the suit will stretch and obviously it's then got that compression element for you. But XL for me, XL it is. No problem with the sizing there. The Santic Ninja Men's Tri Suit. And the word I come back to all the time with this suit is comfort and there's no doubt 
this is going to be my suit of choice for sprint and Olympic distance triathlons this year, especially in the heat. Santic, uh, their recommended retail price for this is £58 on their website, and there's a link to the website down below. It's currently selling for £50. Down below as well is a code, RLR10, which indicates you've come from Real Life Reviews, and that code gives you a discount on all the equipment on Santic's site, and there is no minimum buy. So, the Ninja Men's Tri Suit, a seriously, seriously good value for money tri suit. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, click on the little round circle down there. If you'd like to visit the website, then just down there for the website and a couple of other videos of some Santic kit. We have a gilet up there and we have some bib shorts up there. Many thanks for watching.